Last time on Survivor South Africa, the new members of Bajar were in awe of Hein. I'm a student under a great master. I literally walk around the whole day with my jaw hanging. The guy is actually just humbling to be around him. From that point of view, I'd like him off the island. Starvation on Iban began to affect the morale in the tribe. Just, I don't know how I'm going to cope. Like, I just need some food. But a reward of pillows and mosquito nets soon lifted the mood. On Bajal, Lisa felt like she belonged. I actually feel like working when I'm on this tribe. No, we just... Dyke cooked his Iban tribe mates a valuable meal and they went into the challenge with confidence. Iban with a narrow lead. It did the trick and Iban beat Bajal in a tight contest. With old tribe loyalty still running deep in Bajal, the voting became a numbers game. I think the numbers are against the old Jabal tribe. But trustworthy friends were hard to find. I don't think you can trust anyone, because that's the nature of the game. I just don't trust what's happening on the other side. So. However, in tribal council, Bajal agreed that Nishal should be the next to go. This one is for Nicola. <laughs> tribe has spoken. Who will go tonight? the 3G coverage, Vodacom gives you the best broadband for your rand. Lisa is definitely one of the luckiest survivor members I know at the current moment. It's so cool when we get to put our stuff in the washing machine. And I'll smell I think I'm just actually going to chuck the stuff away. I'm putting everything in mine away. I'm my name was brought up yet again. So every tribal council, I'm always on edge, waiting to see if my name's the next one out that voting box. So obviously I'm very excited so I can spend a few more days here and hopefully work on like alliances and agreements to try and further myself in the game. Since day one, she was on my list to vote off, and each and every time something happens to her advantage. But I still feel Lisa needs to go, in my opinion. He shot. He just kind of talks for the sake of talking a lot of the time. And uh, it just starts grating on you. Just stupid, stupid things. We don't need no water. Let the burn. Oh, no, 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 no. Burn. Please, no, please, no singing. Why not? Please. No, no you're not up for it. Come on, uh, it's morning. No, 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 you nearly drove me mad yesterday. Please. Last night. <laughs> no. Yesterday, last night, the whole day. Yeah, I know. That's how no. I keep from going inside. Okay, can you maybe do it alone? <laughs> If I was at home and this was normal life, I wouldn't take that nonsense from Angie or Amanda. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't fly at them, but I mean, I'd, I'd have something to say, you know. But I know if I'm going to say something, you know, they're going to give me back, you know. So, and I don't want to start an argument. So it's purely tactical. I'm not sure what to do with these little poo ones. 
taken at an angle. Not, not, uh, yes, but once I peel it, there's going to be hardly anything left. Yeah, well then don't peel it, just, just slice it. We can eat, remember how we ate the, um, you know, we can just eat around the peel. Don't peel it, just, can I show you how? I understand. Gotta cut something without peeling it. Okay, cool. Good. The girls are very opinionated, um, not just in the kitchen, but everywhere. And uh, I tend to not run away, but I tend to uh, kind of not oppose them too much because I know they're bosom buddies, Ange and um, Amanda. Before the challenge, we're going to have some more. Okay. Excuse me? Guys, we have communique. Oh, yeah. The hollow you heal, a totem may steal, with ego at bay, tether the fray. I don't know, player. Mm. That's a hectic one. You can wait for the rest of my life. I'd rather wait for Mark's explanation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was you. Like <laughs> this one's a bit tricky. <laughs> Ever since our bizarre days, Amanda's just been working on my nerve. She she just uh, she's just been annoying the shit out of me. What's the ego at bay? That's the thing. An ego like if you put ego. something at bay, it means you put it aside. Yeah. So like you put your egos aside. She spends like a few years in the states, and she comes back with this fake American accent, this know-it-all kind of person. I don't think it means your ego's at stake. It does Probably sound like it's something now. you're gonna have to get over, like it, like something embarrassing. She does absolutely nothing around camp. All she wants to do is eat and sleep. And I think it's time the guys notice that and vote her stupid big ass off the show. Hi, Ivan. Welcome to Jal. Ivan, this is your first look at the new Bajal. Michelle voted off at last night's tribal council. Today's challenge is a tug of war. You're going to need five people from each tribe. Bajal, you're going to have to sit one person out. You'll be attached to the rope by means of harnesses, both tribes facing in opposite directions. On my signal, you'll need to pull against each other in order to reach the three different sections of your totem. The first tribe to put the three pieces in the correct order, one on top of the other, and complete their totem, will win the reward. The Iban and Bajar tribes, after whom you are named, had very close ties with their livestock, and it is in this spirit that I'm going to introduce you to the reward for this challenge. Reski. Oh, that's I'm disgusting. Not oh. You're not eating that guy. Oh. I'm going to eat it. No, we're going to milk it. Stay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rezki over here is your reward. Now you can choose to either have her as a companion, use her for milk, or a hearty meal. The decision is going to be yours. This is what you're playing for. Bajar, I need you to sit someone out. Who's it going to be? Angela, sitting out for Bajar. Let's get to it. I will never eat it. I'll never eat it. Well, we'll talk about it. We're going to go through strategies. Strong the strongest at the back. Yeah. Strongest. There. Yeah. Guys, please don't look at it. Mind over nice. Don't look at it. Think of it as fake. All right, guys. Let's get you into your harnesses. Ivan, electing to put their weight closest to the totem. Bajal, have the heavy weights in the center. All right, Ivan and Bajal. This is for the companionship or the taste of Rezki. Both tribes ready? Survivors, on my signal. Go! Bajar putting in a big tug to start off with. Angie and Amanda are struggling to compete. Bajar have reached their totem. Ivan are being pulverized. Ivan are trying to pull the rope from behind. Make sure you do not touch the other team. Ishad, you cannot interfere with Hyde. Ishad, no! The rope, the rope, not him. 